the labyrinth, how the switchbacks are left and right, our, our society programs us to be more logical, more factual. We're using the left side of our brain all the time. Yes. I'm not saying it's good or bad, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And when you walk the labyrinth, the switchbacks from left and right turn, it forces mm -hmm. our, the right side of our brain, it challenges the right side of our brain to rise yeah. to the level of the left brain. So okay. it challenges our right brain, that's where our in intuition, our emotions, our spiritual self, um, that voice that's often muted in the business world, it challenges it to come up and rise. So you're getting holistic thinking. Yes. And that's a benefit of walking labyrinths. Beautiful, yes. beautiful. So some of the questions that are still resonating for me are, um, I, I'd love to hear, Suzanne, your, how do you define courage? Like if somebody on the, what's your 30 second elevator speech for courage? Well, the most recent um, uh, definition of courage um, is integrity in action. Integrity in action. Okay, mm -hmm. my, my definition is, is that it's, it's, a, it's an energy mm -hmm. that gives you the strength to act. Okay. Other people um, have talked about having heart the heart to act. Okay, so um, uh, um, uh, Thomas Aquinas introduced the whole notion of um, persistence. Yeah. So persistence is part of um, is is part of courage. Um, the earliest definitions all have to do with it being um, um, one of the sort of the core elements that define, again, a man, yes. but enables all those other um, wonderful traits that we all would love to have um, as part of ourselves. If, if you don't have courage, you don't have any of those.